What's going on YouTube? My name is ADC Art Attack, his name is Bob, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Which Is Worth It. This is the YouTube series where I take two art supplies in the same category, put them up against each other to find out which one of them is worth it at their respective price points. So why grey? Well grey is, in my opinion, the single most important colour range you should be focusing on once you have those basic colours. When you want to apply natural shadows to an object, you can use certain coloured variants of grey to do so. Alternatively, you can even use warm grey to create natural and realistic shadows. And you can even use one singular grey marker to create a natural shadow across multiple colours. Now, today's episode, I have two of my favourite brands of markers at completely different price points going up against each other, each with their own range of grey markers. Representing the cheap side, we have the Ohuhu Honolulu range of grey markers. This pack of 36 markers comes in at a price tag of $30, making them less than $1 per pen. Singles, however, do come in at a price tag of $2.50 per pen, meaning you will save more money by buying the complete set. On the expensive side, we have the highly sought after Graphite B markers. These come in at a price tag of $250 for a total of 96 markers. Now these are very difficult to locate online in singles, but with some digging, I managed to find them available, though at a very high cost of $3.50 per pen. That makes these one of the most expensive markers on the market. So which one of them is worth it? That's what we're here to find out on today's episode of Cheap vs Expensive. Leave a comment right now letting me know which one you think is going to win. Then at the end of the video, we're going to find out if you are right. But before we can answer which one of them is worth it, we are going to need a drawing as a battleground to test these markers. And I think as the absolute best Batman is making his return, we should do something in tribute. Let's get started. Ooh, I just love me a good sketch time. This is probably my favorite part of any video, setting up and sitting down to draw. The piece that I'm working on is a reference to Michael Keaton's Batman. Of course, you knew that when I said the best Batman, right? Now you may consider judging this drawing, but keep in mind, this sketch is for a battle purpose only, so keeping him face on and fairly symmetrical while perhaps inaccurate in some areas, it is kind of key in keeping the comparison fair. With the drawing done, it is time to transfer it to a quality sheet of paper for the purpose of today's battle. And I'm going to give you what you've always wanted. I won't be using sketch paper today. Instead, I'm going to be using the premium Copic marker paper that I'm sure is going to be fantastic and there's no way I'm not going to like this paper. <laughs> Now in order for me to transfer my rough drawing to a higher quality sheet of paper, I needed to use my light pad. And a light pad, if you were wondering, is a perfect example of an essential artist's tool. I highly recommend that all of you invest in one as they will provide you a means to clearly ink without damaging the paper. Oh, started with a pencil again. <laughs> Quickly switch that out for a liner. Phew. <laughs> Well, the results look pretty impeccable. And with no damage to the paper via erasing, we are ready to get started with this comparison as fairly as possible. So then, I'm gonna start with Graphite B. Okay, right away I'm feeling concerned over the paper. I'm not sure if this is due to the markers, we're gonna find out soon, but it is warping and it's very difficult just getting a base color down. Also, this marker is low on ink, so yeah, this was well planned out, wasn't it? <laughs> These pens are fantastic. The gradual increase in depth as we move up pen by pen is natural and slight enough that each shade blends perfectly with the previous. With the achieved blends being as accurate as you would decide without much of a restriction. So get practicing because your skill level is going to be able to grow over time with these markers.
Now the graphic beam markers have a powerful tool in a fine liner attached. One of few alcohol markers with a feature like this. While well, certainly this is a niche nib, it's definitely a welcome addition and elevates these pens above many of its competitors. However, in having a fine nib, we lose a broad nib and that means that the larger areas are left to the brush. And... Well, if you were planning on blending, the ink flow will keep pace with you, but if I was to rely solely on a one color approach, it'd be a bit of a problem. Now the case in other markers is different. It's very large, it's triangular. It may be a little bit uncomfortable for many users. For me, it actually feels really, really nice. It is one of the largest markers of all markers on the market, but I can't say that it impacts the markers too much. Now I am including black in this because whatever. Also, the Graphic B doesn't have a wide variety of colored variants. We only have a warm, a cool gray, and a blue gray. Which means that going into the bat symbol, I could only use the warm gray as that was the closest to yellow. And that's not much of a problem as we are working in grayscale. Don't really know where I'm going with this point, because it's not much of a criticism. Overall, these Graphic B markers are incredible. The results look absolutely stunning, and it's very hard to fault them. Now, we are going to move on to the Ohuhu brand, but before we did that, I just wanted to stop and admire these results because, hey, on their own, they do look very, very, very good. So, next up is Ohuhu's turn, and they're 36 grey markers. Now this set is very different to Graphic B, as Ohuhu actually have a few more colored variants such as yellow, red, and greens. And having the extra shades is good, it's not always necessary, but it is nice to have them. Now the brush of these is starkly different to Graphic B, with a much sharper and harder brush by comparison. The layering is quick, though I will say it's hard to notice any major differences in speeds between the two markers, besides the feeling being much firmer with the Ohuhu brush. The blends are again another area where we see very minor differences. However, there is one major notable difference between these two markers that we are already seeing, and that is in the colors themselves. The Ohuhu greys have way more color to them than the Graphic Bs. Whether this is better or worse is a preference, though objectively, I do prefer the subtle hints of color in my greys. Otherwise, I may as well use a colored marker and forego the gray altogether. Now unlike the Graphic B and its liner, Ohuhu has the standard broad nib making it much more effective in those larger areas. I can't say which is better to have, but I will say that given Ohuhu's pinpoint precision brush nib, there's no need for a fine liner here. So we could argue that as Ohuhu just doesn't need a fine liner, they beat out Graphic B's lack of a wider coverage broad nib. There we have it everyone, the results of today's cheap versus expensive. What do you think? Which side do you prefer? I know, looking at them both side by side, there's certainly going to be a divide between which looks better versus which is objectively better. And overall, each of these markers brings a very different style to the table. Each of them having a factor that places them over the other. The Graphic B definitely has a much heavier focus on being a grey marker, regardless of the colour variants. While the Ohuhu seems to lean more into the colors themselves, with far more variety allowing you to complete a piece of art solely with the gray set of markers. Deciding which of these is worth it is just, I don't even know how to do this. Okay, so there is a case to be made for either one of these collections, both positive and negative. The Graphic Bees are an incredible marker, however the restriction of having to buy the complete set 
For $250, that's a lot. And with each individual marker coming at a price tag of $3.50, that's just too much. One, two, three, four, five, 26, 27, 28. 28 times $3.50. But then we have the Ohuhu, which are available at $2.50 per pen. It's a lot of money as well. But you have a set, uh, the, the whole... I can't decide. But what about you? What do you think? Which one of these is worth it? The cheap side, coming in at a price tag of $30 for a full collection of 36 markers, or the expensive at a price tag of $250 for some number of markers. My winner is Ohuhu. I hope you had a great time here today and enjoyed today's video. If you would like to see some more videos like today's one, then please click the previous video, that, that video right there. Click it, watch it, enjoy it. And of course, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.